skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with another fan requested build, the Ice Lich. Let's get started. We're going with a Nord because a fan has come up with a great backstory. You can check it out in the description below. You were trying to cross the border, right? Take the first door into the keep. Then get that armor on and give that axe a few swings. Take the heavy armor from the Imperial Captain. Then loosen up a bit by swinging at Rayloth until you reach 41 handy. Collect to the Imperial Light Armor for selling. Grab some garlic. And the mage gear for disenchanting. Once you're outside, start collecting snowberries for enchanting potions later. Start with the Thief Stone. In Riverwood, manipulate Sven into becoming your servant. Well, you can tell that that long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. Take anything valuable from Gerda. Then grab more garlic from Sven's house. And the rest of the buildings in town. Search barrels for tomatoes. And harvest the cabbage, leek and potatoes for vegetable soup. Get the treasure map from the Illinolta bandits. And the two enchanted items from the Shrine of Talos. Continue west to the Lady Stone. And start catching blue butterflies for enchanting potions later. Dive for Nordic Barnacles at the Wreck of the Silver Moon. And more at the Sunken Barrow to the east. Help Anise take her secret to the grave. And store your enchanted items in her cupboard. Drop down for the flawless emerald. Then loot the treasure in the felled tree. Singe the jumping salmon near Riverwood. Then collect their caviar. Repeat at the falls near Whiterun until you have at least 30 salmon row. Quench your thirst at Hunting Brew Meadery. Then harvest more soup vegetables from the surrounding farm. Take a ride to Riften. and confiscate the goods in the guard towers. Head northeast to the Shrine of Xenophar. Then lure the beast into an ambush. Before acquiring the Amulet and Blessing of Xenophar. 
Head into town. Give gold to a beggar. Then sell any superfluous supplies. Wander back to Whiterun. And give gold to another beggar. Free Carlotta of that pesky bard, Kyle. And she will let you take the garlic and soup vegetables from both her stall. Lucky for you, that was just sitting there for the taking. And her home. Have Sven chop some firewood. Fresh baked bones. Then sell it to Holder for a free bed. Garlic. And vegetables. You can steal her mammoth tusk, then give it to Isolde for some speech training. Harvest the barnacles in the Dragon's Reach moat. Herald Skyrim's doom to the Jarl. Then clean out his kitchen, and cook up a storm. Then purchase Frostbite, Ice Spike, Soul Trap, and Turn Lesser Undead. Come back to Chilfaro Farm, and kill one of Nazim's chickens. I own Chilfaro Farm, you see. Cast Soul Trap on the chicken to level Conjuration, waiting an hour to recharge your Magicka. Continue casting until you reach 50 Conjuration. You should now be level 10, and the next guard you encounter will give you word of the Dawn Guard. Wagon up to Winterhold, and join the college. Then buy the Conjure Frost Atronarch spell from Finnis. Drop in on the Black Briars as you pass by, and put their mercenaries to the test. Then loot yourself a set of steel plate armor. Find your way to Fort Dawnguard, make some inquiries. and upgrade your axe. Drive up to Dawnstar, then head south and activate the Lordstone. Delve into Dim Hollow Crypt, and grab Tolan's gauntlets and boots. Vanquish the vampires, Harvest some glowing mushrooms, and meet the one person who might truly understand you. Fighting gargoyles can be a bit of a challenge, so try and separate one from the pack. Give Serana a ride home. Introduce yourself to Lord Harkon. and surrender to the embrace of darkness. Go downstairs and drain the vampire cattle for some easy vampire lord perks. Start buying speech training from Romphil, and sell him your loot for your money back. Sleep in a coffin for the rested bonus. Then brew potions from garlic, Nordic barnacle, and salmon row until you level up. Trade these potions for more speech training until you reach 50 speech and can access the merchant.
you can then start treating the potions to Feraldo for destruction training. Make sure you get the well-rested bonus from the inn before brewing more potions. Once you've trained as much as you can, buy an Adept Hood, then it is time to fill the Bloodstone Chalice. Make your way to Redwater Den and force your way through. As a minor note, I will be using the Vampire Lord form during the Volkahar quest and the Human form for everything else. Fill the chalice, defeat your rivals, and add their blood to complete your concoction. Now that you've proven your work, grab a death hound and lead it to the crypt. Cast Turn Lesser Undead on the death hound to level restoration. Sleeping in the coffin to regenerate your magicka. Make sure you keep training destruction on level up. Once you reach 50 destruction, you can then buy frost cloak and ice storm. Keep going until you reach 70 restoration and can access the necromage. Head to Riften and start training smithing with Balamond. Find from Let's deepest fathoms down at the docks and take the lexicon. Fight your way through a Vanchenzel and collect all the Dwemer metal and filled soul gems you can find. Return the lexicon for the ancient knowledge effect. Then grab five more levels of smithing training so you can access the dwarven smithing. Pool. Smelt all your metal into ingots and store them with a niece. I can't wait here forever. Make your way over to Markarth and coax Calselmo into giving you access to the dig site. Collect the Dwemer metal and the smithing potion. Squash the spiders. And return for the museum key. Collect the Dwemer metal nearby. Then steal everything from the museum. And Calselmo's laboratory. You can plunder more Dwemer metal from Reachwind Eyrie. The Dwarven storeroom outside Mazolf. and the ruined tower outside Ulftan. Return to the castle and hear Harkon's proclamation. Scour Skyrim for the Moth Priest? I told him that ain't one of my stops. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. Then it's enthrall him. My eyes have been opened. I am blinded by the light of your majesty. And hear the words of prophecy. An image of a great bow. Swap out Sven for Serana. I'll head back home. And find Valerica's study. Let me take a look at it. Make sure that you grab the Daedra heart in the corner. Then step into the Soul Cairn. While you're in the Soul Cairn, you can find some unique summons that fit this build nicely. Specifically, we want the Conjure Wrathman Tome, which is found in this building just to the east of the southernmost keeper. We also want to find Arvak's Skull, located south of the easternmost keeper. Just bring the skull back to the soul of Arvak's former master and he will teach you how to summon the Spectral Steed. I'll teach you how to call him to you. Then, defeat Dernavir. And secure the second Elder Scroll. Return to the Land of the Living. 
and seek out Septimus at his outpost. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the law upon the king. Fight your way through Alftand. Collecting more Dwemer metal. And any Falmer helmets you can find. Then extract the final Elder Scroll. Buy a Banish Enchanted Weapon from Fihada. And if you don't already have one, also buy a Smithing Enchanted Item from Endaru. Take the Daedra's Heart to Moth in Markar, and he will grant you access to the Orc Stronghold. Buy some Iron, and use two thirds of your Dwemer Metal to craft Dwarven Bow. Buy heavy armor training from Garol in Dushnik Jarl on level up. Then, with the aid of your smithing enchanted item, use your remaining Dwemer Metal to temper your bows and reach 100 smithing. Disenchant your enchanted items. Then use the soul gems you previously collected to enchant the Dwarven Bows with Banner. You can trade the enchanted bows for more destruction training, and for more petty and lesser soul gems. Then just keep enchanting bows with Banish for 100 enchanting. Once you've trained to 90 destruction, purchase the expert level frost spell, Then get back to training Heavy Armor with Garol. Buy 16 Ebony Ingots and 9 Leather Strips. Then craft a set of Ebony Armor, minus the Helmet, along with an Ebony War Axe. Then temper everything using the Smithing Potion from Nchunzel. Take the enchanting potion from Anissa's basement, then use it to enchant your gear. I've left some suggestions in the description below. Double back to Dawnstar and cast Ice Storm at the salmon in the bay. You can then swim out and harvest them to collect more salmon roe. Follow the coastline east towards Hella's Folly, collecting Nordic barnacles along the way. Then head west to the Wreck of the Brinehammer, collecting more Nordic Barnacles as you go. You can also collect more Salmon Row in the waters along the coast, or in the bays of Windhelm and Solitude. Solitude also has all the garlic you will need. You can find it in the many homes and businesses in town, oh, and the buildings in the surrounds. Enchant a circlet, amulet, ring, and gloves with Fortify Alchemy. Then combine your ingredients and you'll rapidly reach 100 Alchemy. Keep training one-handed on level up, then return to Castle Volkaha and harass another Deathhound by casting Soul Trap on it until you reach 100 Conjuration. Speak to Dexian about reading the Elder Scrolls. Perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Then become a Moth Priest? and read the scrolls yourself. I Discover the secrets of Darkfall Cave and fight through the Palma in the Forgotten Vale, collecting any Falmer helmets as you go. Slay the Archcurate. No, no. 
reclaim Oriel's bow and taint it with Sarana's blood. Start the main quest line to spawn dragons. Then it's up to High Rothgar. When you next enter a town, you'll be able to start the Dragonborn quest line. Have a strong word with Gyalan. Just a simple sailor. Never wanted to get mixed up in any of this. Then sail to Solstheim. But we leave immediately. You Speak to Glover Mallory. Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. Then retrieve the ancient Nordic pickaxe from Precious in Ravenrock Mine. Return to Glover so that it won't be marked as a quest item. Find Freya at the Temple of Mira. I am here to either save my people or avenge them. Then Soon meet the man they himself. Will building my temple, and I am the Speak to Storm. Are you like Mirak? Are you Dragonborn? Then learn the first word of Bendwill from Searing's Watch. Use the shout to purify the windstone. Then return to Storm to complete the Fate of the Skull quest. And so the Skull shall be alive. Leave Solstheim. Then return to the Skull Village. And you should overhear Dior and Finari discussing Baldor's disappearance. Speak to Dior. Two elves in the far distance dragging something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought we'd love it. Then go terrorize the Falmer at the abandoned blow. Rescue Baldor again. I remember. You're the one who freed the skull from the dark step. Then go and annihilate and carry him. Mine all the stall room from the secret source. Then return to Baldor and he will teach you how to forge with Stalrim. Walk over to White Ridge Barrow. Then extinguish those flame cloak spiders. Show Dukan the true power of ice magic. Then claim his mask to augment your own abilities. Open the Black Book and the Door to Apocrypha. Then activate the Seeker of Shadows. Buy nine leather strips and three quicksilver ingots. Then sell your potions so that you have at least 11,000 gold. Venture over to Colbion Barrow and fund Ralus's excavation. Wait at the Barrow for 72 hours. Then fast travel to Ravenrock to spawn the courier. Return to the barrow and make the Draugr dead again. You go make the Draugr dead again. Then grab Azadal's boot. Repeat this process so you can collect Azadal's Ring of Necromancy. And the rest of Azadal's armor. Wait until Drayla Aelor is home alone, then sneak in and end her suffering so you can have her Dunma shoes. March over to Severin Manor. 
then craft some heavy stall rim armor and a stall rim war axe. Use your alchemy gear to brew an enchanting potion. Then enchant an improved set of alchemy gear. Continue the loop of brewing more powerful potions and enchanting more powerful crafting gear until you have one Falmer helmet remaining. Then brew three enchanting potions. And enchant a chest piece and Dunma shoes with fortify smithing a Falmer helmet and circlet with Fortify Alchemy, and an amulet, ring, and gloves with both Fortify Alchemy and Fortify Smithing. Combine the rest of your ingredients into enchanting potions, and brew smithing potions from Blisterwort and Glowing Mushroom. Then temper your arms and armor, and enchant them to reduce destruction and conjuration spell costs. I have left my suggestions in the video description. You can now make your crafting skills legendary if you wish to redistribute the purple. Find Finnis at the college to complete the conjuration ritual spells. Dominate the Dramora. and have it retrieve a sigil stone. Finnis will then have the Frost Thrall Tome available. You can always buy Dead Thrall, but I recommend Dread Zombie to pair with the Azadal Ring. You can also buy Grand Healing from Colette, then see Feralda for the Destruction Ritual Spell. Just take the book to the three locations, and cast a spell of the correct element. Then return to Feralda and buy the Blizzard Spell. I would also recommend getting the Ritual Stone. Just for that extra bit of chaos. Then it's time to depose Harkon. And complete the Tyranny of the Sun. If you want a steading for this build, I recommend Hell Yarkin Hall in the Pale. If you plant blue mountain flowers and lavender, you can combine them for potions of Fortify Conjuration. If you plant whitecaps and collect elves here, pardon me, but do I detect the case of the rattles? You can combine them for poisons of weakness to frost. Just get the purity perk to remove the other effect. And as always, you can plant Glowing Mushrooms and Nightshade to combine for potions of Fortified Destruction. Of course, the Frost Breath Shop naturally fits this build. You can find the three words at Bone Strewn Press, in Fall Gunther, and at Skyborn Altar. Combined with the Dragonborn Frost Effect, found in the Black Book Epistolary Acumen, this shout also freezes opponent's soul. The other shout that I think fits this build is Summon Dernadier. I mean, 
What better thrall is there for a lich than an undead dragon, which can even summon its own thrall? Now, you can defeat all those who would oppose you. Decide Skyrim's greatest necromancer. Bring Endless Winter to Tamriel. And take vengeance on the Kamal. Well, that's it for this build. Thanks for watching, and a special thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel, leaves a comment, or likes the video. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Thanks again, and see you next time.